This will be the last video for the PDO CRUD section, so create, read, update, and delete. At the moment, we've got a site that allows us to add data and edit data and view data here. So that's our create, read, and update. Now we need to do delete. To do delete, what we're going to do is very similar to what we've already done. First thing we're going to do is we're going to have to create a list of everything that we want to delete. Then we're going to send it to its own delete page, which we're going to write in a minute. So let's just start here. And basically we can copy this stuff and paste because we're doing, as I said, the same thing. So we put our double lines in and here we'll create a list delete and save. Now from here, we've got to go into our functions and create this. So let's take our list users function. We'll copy that, paste it, and we'll change the details. So this is now list delete. Okay, so that matches what we put on the index page here. Now from here, this is going to give us a list of our user details. So let's make our life a little bit simpler. And here we're going to put in an ahref equals slash a. This is what the user is going to see. We'll put in our delete. If I could spell the word delete properly. And here we're going to send them to pages slash delete. PHP. Now, at the moment, this link just goes to the page. It doesn't do anything for us. It doesn't send information across. We want to send across the unique identifier for this particular user. That's going to be the row here. To do that, we basically, we tell the system we're sending a get response across. So we put in the question mark and then we say ID equals and here we go, single quote, dot, dot, single quote. So we've stopped the string. We're putting in a PHP variable and we're restarting the string. And here we want to go dollar sign row ID. Now, based on this particular structure, if we save it, come back to here and hit refresh. As you can see now, we have all of our users from the database with a delete. All right, so if I just do a quick view page source here, you'll see that here our ID number is different for each link, which is exactly what we want to see. Next, what we want to do is create the delete function. So that'll be inside pages. We'll go new page, delete.php. As before, it's very similar to what we're doing here with our update and so forth. So we can take a copy of the code here, paste, and now here, we're not collecting a password. We don't need that. We edit our file up. Okay, so here we'll change this to uh, delete, and we're going to send in the database connection and the ID. So then let's see, this we change to record deleted, failed to Delete. Now let's write this function. So save the page, copy that, come to functions. Let's go function delete. And inside here, as before, we prepare an SQL statement. And here we go delete from users. That's the table we put stuff into where id equals we sanitize it with the label we run a query over it and here we're going let's get our database connection to prepare sql so and then we want to make sure we bind the id correctly so we give it to us sign query Parameter. This is our ID with our dollar sign user ID. 
and then we want to execute it. So you don't sign querying. Execute as such. As before, like when we did the update, and as we're doing here, we're feeding back information. So we've got to make sure we include a return and that, as you'll notice, these lines are the same. So we're just going to copy them and paste them here. So let's save that. Now, if everything's working correctly, so when we look at this page here, we have all this information. If we hit delete now, it says it's deleted, we return, but it hasn't deleted. Now, the reason we've left that in is to show you where things can go wrong. So to start off with, we look at our structure here. So we're feeding things through get, which means when we hit delete, this needs to be a get. So let's change that to get to start off with. Okay, so we'll hit save again. We'll come back. We'll hit a refresh. We'll do delete. We'll return. Nothing's changed. This could start to cause confusions, but let's jump back to here. So from here, we're going index, list delete. This is working. We come into here and we look at this line again. Notice here we're feeding ID. Here we're looking for user ID. 99% of the errors that you will make when you're programming are going to be typos. So always keep an eye on it. So now I've got ID here as well, and it's now get. Let's come back in here. Let's refresh, hit delete. It says record deleted, let's return. And as you can see, we've now removed it. So once again, as a quick reminder, list everything that we're after, provide a link to go to a page to deal with it. Then on that particular page, collect the information correctly, send it through to this function, then make the delete happen and return a result as to how actually everything went with your delete. And that then concludes all of the CRUD information for PDO.